What's up YouTube, it's your boy Dairy Dave. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to prepare each objective on the new Hereford base. I'll cover reinforcements, barbed wire, other gadgets, and how to remodel each objective. I'll show you guys how to use a mirror for each objective and mention other operators that I find useful or necessary for that specific site. So covering from which one is the best to worst, I do find that ammo and tractor storages is the best objective on this map, with fermentation chamber and brewery being the second best objective. Master and kids rooms being the third and dining kitchen being the fourth which is the worst So I'm gonna start going from the top to bottom and I will have time steps in the comments So you guys just can skip around and watch what you want to watch. So let's get started All right, we're gonna start with the ammo and tractor storage objective So right here as you guys can see I already pre-made the mirrors and destruction to save some time so the main reason why I believe this objective be the best is because all the exterior walls are indestructible because they're made out of brick. So as you guys can see, all indestructible. So this uh, tractor storage is pretty locked in pretty hard. So you have no windows on tractor storage. The floor is indestructible. And then the ceiling is indestructible as well. So it's really hard to flank people here. Over here in ammo storage, the floor is destructible and have this nice angle just in case someone tries to come below. Pretty common door that they'll try to go through. Another window on this side. So this is a good hole. Kind of counter for the counter. So the main key to this objective is that we're going to be using these two mirrors to protect the objective. So there's no way they can come in through here other than through the doors. And that's nothing that Castle can't fix. So right here we have a mirror watching mainly the only flank for tractor storage otherwise tractor storage only has two windows and the main key to this defense is having an LMG on this position and who has the best LMG in the game? Tachanka so this is actually probably one of the only sites that I think Tachanka is viable so right here he has a wall to protect him from his right little half wall to protect him right in front of him nothing can shoot him in the back there's no windows there's a Jaeger or not a Jaeger but there's a window that they can throw grenades from but that's something Jaeger can take care of and also that mirror window is gonna shoot anyone who tries to hop in and then you can have traps if they try to hop in and also you have this door though to flank them that's something that castle can fix so that's not a problem so you can see how the setup is so right here so having a Tachanka LMG on that position is going to lock down majority of the top floor. So all the way to here, so a lot of the entrances that are going to try to come through is going to be locked down by Tachanka. And there's really no way to flank him, which is Tachanka's biggest weakness is that he's easy to flank. But with everything being indestructible around him, you can't flank him. So you can actually reinforce the hatch and put a Tachanka turret on the hatch before you couldn't. But since the new update in Grim Sky, the hatches are now flat, so you can now, and I've already tested it, and I'll show you guys at the end. So that's pretty solid. So you have the mirrors to cover you. We have these walls opened up. The floor is destructible, but you can have a roamer cover you from below. So we have that. The reason why I reinforce this side is so you cannot get shot from the window, which is most likely going to happen compared to getting shot through there if you're sitting on this mirror. Getting shot from there. So we have that covered. So I want to cover barbed wire real quick. So I recommend at least to have four. So you can have a set of two on the stairs and another set of two of barbed wire on these stairs. So main stairs right here. This is main stairs and then blue stairs right there. And if you have more barbed wire, I'll just put them at the dividers right here. This divider and then this divider. And then if you have a bulletproof camera, I'll just put it on the watch the stairs so you can put a bulletproof camera right here, watch the stairs, or a bulletproof camera right here to watch the stairs. So yeah, that's about it. You can uh, blow up the hatches. They're not really, they don't hurt to have them open, especially if you're gonna have like roamers out here running around. They might need an escape hatch. So there's one right there. So there's four hatches up here, but this top one, I recommend that you keep it Close. So if you're not a believer in Tachanka, then you can take Maestro or Echo, someone with an ACOG, and just lock down long sight lines. So that's pretty solid. So yeah, I like a castle to block off these doors, and then the other door coming to Tachanka's room. And then you can have a Jaeger to protect the castle. So you can put two ADSs right here, protect the castles, and then another one to protect Tachanka. 
And then, so you have Jaeger, Castle, Mirror, Tachanka. And the fourth one, or the final one, would be really solid to have an Echo or Valkyrie, in which I'll show you guys how it looks like right now. All right, so here we are in kids and master bedroom. So I already set up all the destruction to save some time and then I already have the mirrors placed. So we have 10 reinforcements and I wanna cover the reinforcements first. So we got one reinforcement here for the mirror, two reinforcements over here. So two and three, so we're three reinforcements down. This one just to block that window, this one for the mirror. So then we're going to put a reinforcement right here. So that'll be the fourth one. That's just to give us cover from the stairs. So that makes us at four. So we're going to put five and six right here. Seven and eight right here. So this is just to take away their angles coming in from the south side. And then we have two reinforcements left. And we're going to put them on this wall. So right here, this is a balcony outside. So it's real common for them to push through here since they have a nice balcony to take control of and use to their advantage. So that's our 10 reinforcements. And the nice thing to do is that shoot out the bottom so from the objective you can shoot out their feet as they try to come through that balcony wall. So that's pretty solid. So here with the mirror, I don't really know that what the rooms are called here. What's this room called? Sewing room. So right here with this mirror you can watch sewing room. So there's a window right here and a window right there so they'll easily repel into that window because they have pretty good cover right there so right here this is just a block sewing room and then as they come down the stairs or come up the stairs you can see them and shoot them with your mirror so then right here this is to watch the back side to watch the other objective so right here um, m making this uh, objective I had to think a lot about this room because I wanted to put the mirrors at first I put both of the mirrors in this room but then I thought about if they open up this wall they can easily do that with a Habana easy deal with a Habana or a Maverick and then you'll be screwed so then I needed something then I wanted to put a mirror to watch this side so that I thought of putting on this wall but it made a lot of things more complicated and I eventually figured out that having this mirror set up is the best so now that we have our reinforcements and mirror covered let's go over barbed wire so I like at least four to six so obviously you're gonna have a load up on the stairs so at least two pieces of barbed wire on the stairs then we have the main stairs over here so another two pieces of barbed wire so that takes us to four barbed wire and then the other pieces, uh, I would say you can probably put five and six right here. Yeah, that's what I'm most likely do. Five and six, or you can put it over here, five and six, or maybe split it up. So that's a barbed wire. So if you have a bulletproof cam, I'll put it one right here just to mainly watch the main hallway. So you can put it right there, or on this wall to watch this hallway. So that's for your bulletproof cam. And then for destruction, we have a little rotation hole right there. There's not really any hatches that we need or want to get. Yeah, so there's no hatches in objective. There's other hatches in the other room, but that's something your roamer can choose. So for other useful ops, so we have mirror covered. I think pulse will be useful down below here. You can see four below, see four below. A bandit will be useful for sure, especially bandit tricking over at that balcony wall. So band trick in that balcony wall, that would be useful. And then I don't know, just roamers. Uh, the ceiling is destructible on this objective or this site, but the floor is indestructible, which is the opposite right here. So indestructible, destructible. So yeah, that's it for this objective. Let's go on to the next one. All right, here we are on to kitchen and dining objectives. So I already pre-made the destruction so you guys can see 
how the rooms look like through each other and whatnot and pre place the mirrors just to save some time so the big reason why i think this objective is the worst is because his back wall right here with with maverick he's gonna guarantee that this wall gets open so you you better pray that they don't have maverick otherwise they're gonna open this up easy and just cut off rotations these objectives are pretty small and this is right behind both objectives so if you take a ying she's easily will be able to flash any room that they choose to push and it's just a gg after that so i have the mirrors right here to watch a garage because if they don't go through there they're most likely going to go through garage which is pretty common so i have this mirror right here watching garage open up the wall there's nothing there's nowhere they can enter from that side they can only enter through the window and through the wall right here you can watch them as they come down the stairs this is a solid one so the main entrance is over at the north side so you can see them through multiple walls so it's another side of that wall which is indestructible but yeah so we have that mirror so going over reinforcements we got 10 total this wall takes two puts us at four army put takes two puts us at two another set of two takes us to four we're gonna put two on this side so five and six we're gonna put seven so the eighth one is optional so you can get the hatch right there or you can get this stair wall over here so it'll be your option on your eighth so this just you should decide which one you get depending if you're gonna have uh, roamers playing up here so then our ninth and tenth reinforcement is gonna go back onto this balcony wall it's just uh, because the f ceiling is destructible so they're definitely gonna be pushing up here to flush people out so then you definitely gotta reinforce that wall and then here's the hatch. So that's our reinforcements. Now for barbed wire and bulletproof cam. So you definitely wanna put barbed wire right here. So at least two pieces of barbed wire right there on the stairs. Another two pieces over here. So that puts us at four. And then at the most you want six pieces. You don't want more than six because then you're gonna have not enough impacts or c4s or whatnot so you can put your final set of two right here if you're not gonna have someone try to abandon trick and you know they might not take maverick so you can put two right here or you can put the final two at that window and at that door so in this room the only way to enter is through this window and through that door you can't enter through this window because it's just like you can't repel on it and the ground is real below so you can't like vault through it so yeah we got everything covered so operas i think are useful i think you're gonna need a mute and a banner for this objective to get this back wall and then the second floor balcony wall so you're definitely gonna need a mute bandit you're gonna need a mirror so right here mirror get the garage side so that's three operas the other two i don't know uh it's too early to decide what the meta will be for this objective but yeah so that's it for kitchen and dining all right, here we are on the final objective in the basement, fermentation chamber and brewery. So I already set up all the destruction for you guys, so to save some time, you can kinda see what's going on, what's in the other rooms. So right here, going with these mirrors, I decided to put the mirrors both inside this room because the ceiling is indestructible. Your back is indestructible right here. There is a door right there, but for the most part, where you're gonna be sitting, you're pretty safe from that door. So yeah, that's why I chose to put the mirrors right here. So with this mirror, you can protect the other objective. This mirror, you can protect the back side right here. Catch them, they're coming down the stairs. See a little bit, they come down the stairs. Step back and shoot them. Same thing with this right here, see them in the hall. So I didn't do that stair part right. You can kind of see them on the stairs right here. Tiny crack and then peek them pretty nice. There's no other way for them to get down through this door unless they go through here. There's a hatch right there they can drop. Yeah, but it's a pretty solid. So I wanted to put the mirror on this wall over here. Because this is probably where most likely where they're going to be pushing from. Especially since if we're going to have those mirrors, it's going to be locked up. But the ceiling is destructible, so it'll be easily flush out that mirror versus that side. Not so much. All right. So now that we have that kind of covered, so we're going to go over our reinforcements. So we're going to have one reinforcement here and here obviously for the mirrors so then we're gonna have two more reinforcements for this wall so that puts us to four three more reinforcements for this wall that puts us to seven 
and then we're gonna put one reinforcement here that's eight one reinforcement here that's nine so a and nine are to keep them out some outside let's just get rid of some of their angles so right here they can look into objective say the habana whatever so it's just to get rid of some of their angles so a and nine keep them help keep them out that's important wall and then the tenth one i should have mentioned this one earlier but it's the hatch so i forgot to mention yeah but you make sure you got to get the hatch so that's our 10 reinforcements and uh, let's go over barbed wire and bulletproof cam so barbed wire definitely on the stairs if they're coming down right here in this pathway so they can't ex get through as fast and you make sure you get the kill from your mirror so that's two pieces another two pieces on the stairs as always man you can put it right here then on top or right here and at this door so that's three and four and then right here if you have extra definitely put in this little hallway between the doors to slow them down so they can't just rush in and kill you so yeah make sure you put a barbed wire right here as well so that's a barbed wire so if you have bulletproof cams you can put it right here kind of just keep our watching the big part of the hallway and the other spot would be on this set of stairs so you can break that and put it right here and just watch the back hallway so that's it for our gadgets i think we have everything cut rotations yeah i didn't really do, do that right so yeah you just probably want to open up right here i don't have an impact i guess i could use my c4 yeah that's the last one so, right now. so you rotate here between rooms that's mainly it there's no hatches that we would want to open since we're in the basement so going with the operas that are useful so we're definitely getting mira you might want to you might want to have smoke since if they get that wall open you can toss smokes over throw smokes whatever however he wants to do it quick peek and throw a smoke because that's pretty far pretty hard to defend maybe a bandit you can get this outside wall and then maybe try to bandit trick that wall that's an option and I, honestly like jaeger jaeger's always solid you know a good roamer is always solid maybe uh there's not that much room for master i don't know master right here you can put one just to watch the stairs and the same thing kind of like another bulletproof cam put another master evil eye right here to watch those stairs that's actually pretty solid yeah i really like master for that now um not really yeah it's too like i haven't gotten in depth like get some crazy valkyrie spots or whatnot but yeah so that's it for our final objective. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, please leave a like. And if you want more Dirty Dave, subscribe. Till then, see you guys next time.